Pioneer is winning our hearts back with their new DMH C2550 necks and DMH C2500 necks, 6.8 inch modular display car stereos. Confused? Modular is defined as composed of standardized units or sections for easy construction or flexible arrangement, which is exactly what Pioneer did with their stereos, separating the display from their new modular neck stereos from the actual chassis and CPU of the unit. This is changing the game of installs. A modular unit allows complete flexibility when it comes to installations. A lot of vehicles have an absurd amount of factory wiring inside the dash, making it difficult to fit a full-size double-end stereo in the dash. The modular design solves this issue, plus opens the door for unique and custom installs allowing you to hide the chassis virtually anywhere. The display and chassis connect with an RGB extension pigtail, which connects to the RGB ports on the back of the display. With the 5-foot CD RGB 150E extension cable purchased separately, you can literally put the display anywhere in your vehicle. Why did they do this and what are the benefits of a modular display? A modular unit allows complete flexibility when it comes to installations. Your only real concern is mounting a one inch thick display. You'll finally have plenty of space for the wiring with your remote mounted brain. No more trying to smash all the cabling back in the dash. On to the unique mounting options. Metro has partnered with Pioneer to create vehicle specific dash kits that work with these DMH modular stereos. Not only is this one of the first of its kind, it's also one of the fastest stereos that I've ever tested. Response time is incredibly fast and smartphone-esque. And despite the display being clear resistive, it still felt great. Plus again, the display is only one inch thick. However, it's not HD and Pioneer really dropped the ball on that opportunity. There are two differences between the DMH C2550 necks and the DMH C2500 necks. The DMH C2500 necks is not eye dialing compatible and does not come with a remote control. And besides obviously the screen size, the main difference between these and the DMH C5500 necks is the C5500 necks has a capacitive touchscreen and the C2550 and C2500 have clear resistive touchscreens. We got the C2550 next in, so let's focus on that. Out of the box, the DMH C2550 next comes with a wiring harness, RCA audio video pigtail, mounting brackets, Bluetooth microphone, hardware, wireless remote, USB extension, warranty, manuals, 6.8 inch clear resistive display, and single din chassis. Just like their other new next models, not only did the DMH get a more powerful operating system with incredibly fast response times, they took all of the rear AV inputs and outputs and bundled them into a pigtail harness, labeling each. These next radios are so packed with features and expandability options that they often have so much going on in the back, so this is actually pretty cool and convenient for installs. The AV pigtail includes three sets of 4 volt RCA preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer. RCA AV inputs, rear monitor video output, backup camera, and auxiliary. Rear connections on the chassis include USB, Bluetooth mic, steering wheel control, eye dialing maestro, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, AV pigtail, plus pigtails for RGB connector, Sirius XM, and radio antenna. Clearly there is no disc slot, so it's time to throw away those three days gray CDs. Using the mounting brackets, the display can attach to the stereo to create a traditional double din setup instead of a modular design.
Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto are two of the most highly demanded features in car stereos today. Both integrate several of your smartphone's first party and third party audio apps and navigation apps to the stereo. Video apps do not transfer, and this stereo is not compatible with wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto. Both work with a direct USB connection to the rear USB port using the included USB extension, another ball that Pioneer dropped. If they included an HD screen plus wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, this stereo would literally be a must have. Siri and Google Assistant work with the voice control button. Thanks to iOS 12, Google Maps and Waze now work with Apple CarPlay like they already do with Android Auto. Similar to Kenwood, Pioneer has their own version of Weblink, which is a smartphone integration portal to apps like YouTube, Yelp, Music, and Zomato, all displayed and controlled at the stereo. And no, it's not a screen mirror. Download Pioneer's Weblink app on your phone. It works with both iOS and Android via a USB connection. It's a little slow, it looks like it's in a beta phase, but it's a solid effort and we're sure it'll be updated in the future. Despite it being clear resistive and not HD, the display still looks great. The DMH is dual camera ready by using the backup camera input and using the video input and setting it to camera in the system settings for a front facing camera. Although there is no HDMI port, you can still mirror to the stereo using its RCA AV inputs running from the AV pigtail. Use the Bueller BU-HDMI-V in addition to a digital AV adapter for iPhone and the BU-CHDMI for Android. We have extensive videos on mirroring. Links are in the bio. All apps will work both audio and video will transfer. For music and audio playback, the HD Radio Tuner receives your favorite radio stations and CD quality audio with artist tags. Bluetooth will allow hands-free calling, plus streams your music wirelessly from your phone with tags. Connecting to the USB port with your phone enables music and app audio playback as well, and charges your device. The USB port connection provides album artwork, which is displayed on the home screen or in the source. Album artwork is actually possible via Bluetooth as well, but not in the Bluetooth source. You must be connected via Bluetooth and streaming wirelessly, but in the iPod or Spotify source for the album artwork to come up. This is not a navigation unit, so it doesn't have built-in Garmin Nav, but I prefer Google Maps anyways. Plus it has the address for your mother's apartment saved in it. Pioneer offers a whole new bunch of preset wallpapers to choose from, including a few animated ones. Plus you can upload your own JPEG image and set a splash screen. Change the overall color theme of the radio, plus the button illumination or scan them. Its audio settings put you in full control of your sound. Using a USB thumb drive, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, DivX, and WMV files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. The stereo is Sirius XM ready with the optional SXV300V1 universal tuner and steering wheel control ready with the ASWC1 interface. Links in the bio. Go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button. But if you hate it, click the dislike button. 
Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.